Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Corkset application. My name is Daniel Rao. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to deploy Corkset based microservice application to Amazon Lambdas. There are actually two different ways I'm going to show today uh, to bind the HTTP protocol and API based on Amazon Lambda, but also uh, how Corkus provide a flexible and portable Java API based on Corkus Funky extension to deploy Amazon Lambda for using uh, Java runtimes on top of the Amazon Lambdas. Okay, uh, let's get into the demo. So first of all, we're going to create a new Quarkus project using Maven command line. So we're going to use the Quarkus 2.0 CR3. Uh, you can find the, the, the Quarkus project just generated automatically based on Maven uh, Java structure and there are Docker file and Maven wrapper. And then let's go change the directory and run uh, one of the ID tool uh, to change your application code on the Quarkus project. So here's my VS code uh, to open our Quarkus project. And when you go to uh, Palm XML, and then you can find the dependency already pulled down here. As an example, REST EG for export the RESTful API and the JUnit test for uh, Quarkus JUnit file, etc. So here is a sample application to expose Hello World uh, with the RESTful API. To run a uh, Quarkus demo mode, you can actually use Quarkus CLI. So for that, uh, we need to find out uh, which uh, Quarkus extension can be installed for Amazon Lambda. So Quarkus EXT installable search AWS, you can find a bunch of the uh, Amazon related dependency here. So we're going to use Amazon Lambda HTTP Actually, you can explore the Amazon Lambda. Today, I'm going to use Amazon Lambda HTTP API to bind our Quarkus application to deploy Amazon Lambda runtime. All right, go back to our source code. And then uh, just take a look at uh, our Palm XML to make sure your Amazon Lambda dependency or extension already installed here. And then let's try to run this application using a Quarkus command line. Quarkus dev, you can also use it to Maven command line as well. So once your Quarkus application got started, uh, you can uh, access to endpoint and you have uh, continuous testing capability. Also, you have a dev UI, all bunch of uh, feature for developer uh, experiences. Okay, let's try to access a RESTful UI. Let's put API to HTTP 8080 hello and the rest EG. So this application works properly as we expected. And then we're going to try to add uh, just a simple uh, CDI Java classes here, the greeting services and then application scope here. And then just uh, try to add the one uh, Java method as an example, uh, just a return string type uh, output. The method name here, green, and the one parameter like a name. So uh, return the just text string, uh, for example, hello, for example, welcome to Quarkus World Tour, and uh, append it the parameter name. Okay, so now we're going to inject the new greeting service here using inject annotation uh, Quarkus provides. And the new endpoint, uh, such as a greeting uh, with the name parameter, in the public string greeting services, just invoke a CDI bin a greeting service here. So it's a pretty simple new application and new uh, method just edited on my application during live coding capability. I try to access the new endpoint, hello slash greeting slash uh, Daniel, my name is, uh, it will return welcome to Quarkus World to uh, Daniel. So in the meantime, I never ever try to recompile, rebuild my application. All right, I'm going to start my uh, local environment. Let's try to deploy this application to Amazon Lambda. But for that, I just delete uh, one method like a hello, because I just needed to expose uh, the greeting service as a serverless function. Okay, so now I'm going to package this application, Maven command line, Maven uh, clean install. I'm going to skip the unit test because I already success the unit test but for that. So once we finish to packaging this application, you you're going to have the job file on the target directory. And there are some different uh, output you uh, never ever seen a normal Java application. For example, function G file, which he included lots of the Amazon, the script file. And also there are two template YAML file for JVM 
a runtime and the other is native compilation runtime. So we're going to use one of the template to deploy the application using the same CLI, the Amazon serverless uh, application model CLI, command line interface. So you can actually test on your local and you can deploy to Amazon Lambda directly. So we're going to deploy this purpose application to Amazon Lambda directly in this demo. So using the same deploy and the template uh, JVM uh, YAML file, because we just packaging JVM hotspot. And then before we deploy application, let's take a look at that, uh, how my Amazon dashboard looks like. As you see, there's no function here. And then go to F3, uh, it's a bucket storage. When you upload our application, before we deploy Amazon Lambda function. And then also there are identity access management because Amazon Lambda function needed to communicate what's secure, your uh, authori authorization based on IML role. So Quarkus extension, uh, Amazon Lambda HTTP extension allows uh, to deploy this all bunch of Amazon stuff uh, using SMM. And then you're gonna come from the change before you deploy to make sure everything is okay. And then uh, create a configuration file like a same config.eoml file. And the first step, uh, we're gonna create the S3 bucket storage to upload our uh, application. And next step, uh, we're going to make sure change is set. Uh, as an example, there are permission and then image of function and the gateway API, etc. If the change is set, it looks really good and you just confirm to deploy this application based on this change set. Just uh, return uh, yes. And then next step, uh, uh, the cloud formation, uh, try to deploy this application to uh, Amazon Lambda. So as you can see, they will create a, uh, automatically IAM role and a gateway based on HTTP and also uh, create a new permission to access your Amazon function. The last step, you can find the endpoint here automatically generated by Amazon Lambda. So let's try to access this endpoint uh, like a, a new parameter, uh, greeting, hello greeting, and that's uh, name is my preferred name, Dan. And now you got some new output. Welcome to Quarkus World Tour, comma, Dan. So this is not my local machine. This is actually running on Amazon Lambda. So let's try to refresh the Amazon role. And then you can find a new role automatically generated, which is Quarkus Amazon HTTP extension uh, created for you. And go to uh, S3. And then you can find a new uh, storage, but also you can go to function. You can find the new function is created by your local environment using SMM CLI. And then you just need to use uh, the template which is Quarkus uh, generated automatically after Quarkus packaging. And then go to S3 uh, bucket storage. You can find the new uh, storage just created uh, when you unload your application. And also go to API Gateway, and then you can find a new gateway like Quarkus HTTP, just like the same name of stack name, it's automatically created. So, and then you can find all detailed configuration because we store the configuration file. Pretty cool. So, what if we needed to deploy this same serverless function to different Kubernetes cluster or different serverless platform, even Amazon Lambda? So to make it more portable and flexible. In order to do that, Quarkus provides a funky extension specifically Amazon Lambda. So using same Quarkus CLI to add a new extension Quarkus funky Amazon Lambda, and then uh, you can uh, list it which extension are installed on my current project. And we just need to delete uh, existing Amazon Lambda HTTP binding extension because we don't need to use that any longer because we need to create a more flexible and a standable serverless function, even though it will deploy to Amazon Lambda. So after that, we need to change the code using Funk. So previously, we have a 21 line of code to implement the same capability, like a hello world with some parameter. But now we have a 16 line of code for same capability. So simpler application code. And the one thing we need to do before we deploying, so we need to specify which function we need to export. The, by default, the function name is a method name, but you can actually specify a particular function name in a phone annotation as well. 
All right. So packaging one more time uh, to create a job file and also the necessary uh, Amazon Lambda related to a uh, script file, the function div uh, just created. And then there are one different thing between Amazon Lambda extension, but also funky extension. You can find the manage bash script. It wraps uh, all the create, delete, update, or invoke Amazon CLI command line. So you don't need to use the SAMM CMI any longer, but you just run the manage uh, bash script with the create, which allows you uh, deploy this application to Amazon Lambda automatically. And you can also delete it uh, just one single command line. So it takes up a uh, little bit faster than uh, SMM uh, CLI because uh, we don't need to HTTP API gateway any longer. Okay, go to uh, Lambda dashboard and then you can find a new function here getting started. But the same code size 12.4 megabyte and the same runtime Java 11. So when you click on that, you can actually test on dashboard. You can click on test tab menu and then put in the uh, test event uh, name like a test and then a parameter like the name just Daniel and then click on test and then it will showcase the output result in a second and the welcome corpus tour Daniel this is uh, uh, the same capability but once you uh, change your application based on function uh, based on Quarkus funky annotation and you can actually deploy multiple serverless platform like a Google function, Amazon Lambda, and Azure function, etc. So more flexible and portable uh, serverless function. So in order to delete uh, some function, if you don't want to use that, you need to go to cloud formation to delete the stack. And then once to tr uh, trigger delete the stack, and then it will delete all related resources, for example, HTTP API gateway, and go to IAM row, you can find only row 3, uh, previously it was 4. And then this is the only way to delete existing function based on cloud formation. But when you deploy the function based on uh, Quarkus Funky extension, you can actually delete from one command line back to the terminal window and the target manages a bash script uh, running with the delete parameter. It will just takes a few seconds to delete your function or related resources. So this is a really pretty convenient way to deploy and also delete. Also manage your purpose-based serverless function to multiple cloud platform from Amazon Lambda and a lot of different serverless platform. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of the day.